Oh, man, Miles, you should have seen the look on your face. You try keeping your cool with a bomb landing next to you. Hmm. Raz, Miles, come help me gather some parts we need. Uh, can't you do that on your own? Oh. Come on, Raz. Let's go. Where are they all headed? Good timing. Now we can talk in private. Riley. Mind if I sit down? Oh, uh, be my guest. July 15th is coming up soon. Remember how excited we'd get for the Star Child Festival? We'd all run up the clock tower, and the first five kids to reach the top would ring the bell. I remember the winners got to wear a Star Child medal. And every year, you wore yours with pride. I always looked up to you. I loved that festival. Almost as much as I loved winning. That's why I knew you'd recognize the signal. You dingus. For all you know, I might have forgotten. Not you. There's no way you'd forget those memories. You really do trust me, huh? Try keep Raz, my uh. it oh july 15th remember how excited we'd all run up the i remember the and every year i loved that fest that's why i knew you'd recognize the you dingus for all you know i might have forgotten not you there's no way you'd forget those memories you really do trust me huh the only reason I didn't retreat was out of stubborn pride. I was this close to leaving you for dead, though. Honestly, I didn't think you'd find a way out. And yet, here we are. I canceled my transfer request, by the way. I'll give you another shot. At least long enough to confirm you're not a scaredy clod. And it's your job to prove it. It's a little late, but... I look forward to working with you. Emergency! The city is... Look at rain! What's going on? Riley, come on! Burn. 
starting. Why? I thought we had it on lockdown. The Empire did this. They set fire to the city so we couldn't take it. They pretended to withdraw but left agents inside. How could they? There are still civilians in there. Did the communications officers make it out? The whole city was doused with napalm. Once the flames started spreading, it was already too late. No. Riley, get a hold of yourself. The fire. No. Dad. Hey, stay with me. This isn't Hoffman. Your dad's not in there. Riley! Interlude. Squad E assembles. Ah, still messing around with that book, huh? Raz. That your plan for after the war? Break into writing? Better buy me a drink with that sweet bestseller cash. It's nothing that exciting. Just keeping a little journal. We're on the front lines of a goddamn war, and you're writing gossip in a diary? I think it's good to keep a record of things, that's all. <laughs> Plus, it helps me organize my thoughts. I guess it's a habit I picked up from, you know, him. You know, if you're that interested, we could buy a diary for you. Like hell. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess you wouldn't have much reason to. Well, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Well, like I'm some goddamn illiterate? No, no, just... I'm not sure your thoughts are deep enough that there'd be any point in organizing them. Oh, you son of a... I don't have to take this from your nerd ass. Miles, is that how they usually act around each other? Don't worry, they're just messing around. I don't think there's any actual offense. Oh, but I guess I don't have to tell you that. You've known them much longer than I have. Must be nice, ending up in the same squad as some old best friends from your hometown. Best friends? What, Raz and Claude? Uh, yes. I mean, we played together when we were kids, but Raz started running with the wrong crowd, and then... Uh, anyway, I don't know that I'd call them friends. More like a bully and his mark. I never would have figured they'd end up all buddy-buddy. Let alone Raz taking orders from Claude, of all people. Oh... That actually explains a lot. Well, it lines up with other things I've heard. But they say the toughest bonds are the ones forged in fire, not... If things did change between them, it was probably thanks to an incident back in training. What happened? Let's see. Gosh, I think it was about a year ago now. It was May of 1934. Finally, that damn drill sergeant is gone. I swear, if I see that bastard in the field, I'm gunning his ass down. Save that rage for the Empire, Raz. Kai. It's not just training anymore. From now on, we're going to be fighting real Imperials. <laughs> Maybe. But that guy's earned a place on my shit list for life. There was one button undone. I didn't expect him to deck me and send me on a 40k run. There was a lesson in that. 
On the battlefield, the slightest mistake could cost you your life. Yeah, but remember when he found my contraband? Oh, that beautiful pinup by your bunk? I understand confiscating it, but I wasn't expecting him to return it... Uh... used. Ah, did Zaga's wifey cheat on him with an officer? Talk about an honorable discharge. That bastard! Oh, Betty, my angel, what did he do to you? <laughs> Sorry, Zyga, but I guess love hurts. <laughs> guess you've earned the right to hold a little grudge. We'll just have to wait and see who's next on your... <laughs> I mean, who's gonna be our new commander? Who knows? If it's some stuck-up bastard, we'll just kick him out. Simple as that. Rats, we aren't just recruits anymore. Our superior gives the orders and we follow them. Sure, but Raz the Invincible doesn't play by the rules. Not even his own rules. Why should I listen to some old geezer from the last war? Or a smug prick who got in on their family name? Hey, I know. How about you become the squad leader, Kai? That would be ridiculous. I don't have any remarkable heritage, nor experience. I'm just a thug from the slums, same as you. Who would trust someone like me to lead them into battle? Oh, come on! You're smarter than any of us here. You're a crack shot. You got nerves of steel. Even the old sergeant never tried smacking you around. He never had an excuse. He respected you. No, I bet he was scared of you. Seriously, man, I can't think of anyone who'd make a better leader. Well, I heard our incoming commander graduated as valedictorian of his class at the military academy. Valedictorian? He must really be the best of the best. That's a real feat! Ah, oh, great. Some rich scumbag with a stick up his ass. Just what I need. Well, looks like he's here. Tension! Can't wait. I'd like to introduce you to the commander of Squad E. Meet your new leader, Second Lieutenant Claude Wallace. Claude? Wallace? Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Never imagined we'd run into each other out here. Hello. It's, uh, nice to see you again, Kai. Raz? Scaredy Claude? You're supposed to be our leader? Like hell I'm ever taking orders from you! Soldier! You are speaking to your superior officer! He's a goddamn coward is what he is, and I'll say it as many times as I want. Raz, enough. Enough for you? I'm never gonna respect this son of a... Rats! That's it! You're dismissed from today's training! Get running! I want 100 kilometers! Sure, whatever you want! Sign me up, long as I don't have to listen to him! One hell of a first day on the job, right? I guess you've got your work cut out for you. saw you was when we were paired up for tank training. Uh, I'm surprised you remember me. I wasn't even from the military academy. I was just your average driver fresh out of basic. And I heard you graduated as valedictorian, right? That's incredible. Only thanks to you, we wouldn't have aced the tank course without your help. Really, you're giving me too much credit. But I'll do my best not to break our streak. You want me to take orders from him? Calm down, Raz. We're in the army now. Rank is everything. You know that already. 
You want ranks? Sure, I'm sergeant and he's second lieutenant. But he's still a worse shot than me, and his CQC's a joke. I'm sure I told you. Claude graduated as valedictorian of his class in the military academy. He's not the same Claude we knew. Yeah? So tell me what's changed. Valedictorian? Don't give me that shit. Hey, Claude. Claude! Look me in the eye, you bastard. <sighs> you hear me? I didn't drag my ass through all that training just to have you be the one yanking on my chain. I'll fight the imps and put my life on the line to do it. But I am not letting Scaredy Claw get me killed! <clears throat> Pathetic. If you can't even talk back, then you really are a coward. What's his problem? How can he talk to you like that? Aren't you gonna say anything? Put him in his place! You were peerless in the tank training, and you were a better shot than anyone on the artillery. I... No, everyone who saw you in training looked up to you. There's no way anyone could call you a coward. I hope you don't hold it against him. Raz is more sensitive than he lets on, and he's not sure how to deal with this. Kai! Miles. Raz, Claude, and I, we all grew up together in the town of Hockey. We were all pretty young when we first became friends too young to know about things like social standing. But the reality was that Raz and I were kids from the slums, and Claude was upper class. He didn't know our struggles. We got older and learned more about how the world works. And the more Raz understood, the more it hurt him. <sighs> Claude, I'm sure on some level Raz is happy to see you again. But when he gets emotional, he just refuses to listen. You know how he is. I can try to convince him, but... It's fine, Kai. I understand. I don't think I can reach him through words alone. I'm the commander of this squad now. This is my problem. I'll try to think of a solution. Claude. Mm. You're right. Probably for the best. Huh? Hey, wait! Claude! Hmm. And then several days later? All the members of the squad were gathered for an important announcement. What? We're taking on the Ranger course? That's the most difficult training in the army, isn't it? Uh, excuse me? Is this Ranger course really that bad? Only a select few manage to become Rangers. It's a title for real heroes. The best of the best. If we clear the Ranger course, we get assigned to special missions, and we all get epaulets. But the regiment is... tough. I hear it's made soldiers desert. Well, the ones who didn't wind up in the infirmary. Right. I hear that training stretches you to your limits, mentally and physically. What? Well, is it too late to back out of this? Sign me up! I've always been interested in the Ranger Corps. Hey, whatever pays the bills, I'll do it. I, uh... I'm not sure. The whole squad will be taking the course. We're all gonna pass it. Not a single failure. What the hell? Claude, you realize what you're saying? Yes. And I don't make promises I can't keep. Ha! Get real. Me and Kai are gonna pass no problem, but the others? I don't think so. No. We're all gonna beat this. I've read your files. You've all got your quirks, sure, but I see it more like each of you has hidden potential. 
I know you all enlisted for your own reasons. Good reasons. The reason I joined the military was to protect Galia from the Empire. It's my homeland, and I'll fight for it. And all of you stand here today because you have something you want to accomplish or protect. But right now, we're just a handful of soldiers among tens, hundreds of thousands. We're pawns on a board. I don't intend on staying a pawn. I want to bring the Empire down with my own hands, by my own will. If I want to do that, however, I need results. I need to earn trust. I need to stand on the front lines and change battles with my own decisions and tactics. And if we can make it into the elite ranks of the Rangers, I can make that a reality. What a load of bullshit. So, Claude, this is your solution? I have to say, Raz, I'm surprised at your cowardice. What did you just say? True, the ratios of physical and mental capability in this squad may be a bit uneven. But that's something that could be covered between the two of us. Isn't that right? <sighs> or, do you think you can't complete the Ranger curriculum having to carry around the weight of our comrades? Uh, of course not! I'd finish this thing even if I have to carry the others on my back! Then it's settled. <laughs> Sounds like you're all set, Second Lieutenant Wallace. Now, according to our deal, time for your mock combat mission. Mock battle? They want to test the squad's abilities. They need to know if we're ready to take on the Ranger course. Hope they're ready to see what Gallians are made of. Fine by me. But who's playing our enemy in this trial? The Ranger Corps elites. Well, that ought to be... Wait, what the hell? How are we supposed to beat them? The Ranger course is no playground. We're making quite an exception to let your whole squad attempt this. We'll see if your results can justify it. Looks like our first combat op will be a trial by fire. Well, Claude, time to do the impossible, right? Right. We're not going to lose this. Let's get them started. Now show me what you're made of. Just do it! Push those limits! so to speak. Good work. Well, well. Your shock troopers have found a new potential. Hmm. Your troops have crossed a threshold today. You're cleared to learn a new order. Good work. Ah, 
I see the Grenadiers have discovered new potential. Hmm. Your troops have crossed a threshold today. You are cleared to learn a new order. Just do it! Push those limits! You've leveled up, so to speak. Good work. Done for today? Well, I'd be glad to train them anytime. Just let me know. What's the matter, Claude? If I didn't know any better, I think you'd just lost a battle. I'm glad that we won, obviously, but when I see my comrades in arms lying wounded out there... We're not in boot camp anymore. This is war. If that's all it takes to get you down, you won't stand a chance when the bombs really come flying. I know that, all right? War means blood. War means death. Still, it doesn't make it any less painful to leave behind a comrade you know you could have saved. I'm not disagreeing with you, but tending to the wounded is the medic's responsibility, not ours. Sure, except when they're too far away to make it in time. Sometimes you can run as fast as you can to get help, and still get there too late. Hmm. Can't argue with that. If only we could relay the urgency of the situation to HQ. Perhaps like this? on the cusp of a pretty good order. Well, let me know if you change your mind.
I want that order. So I think, guys, we need to go do some skirmishes. We have to be careful, though, because I don't want to lose anyone. Didn't take much. Nice. I've got this. Complete the operation. Now advancing. Understood. Keep going. Advancing. Keep some spare ammo, just in case. You have to 
do this. Find their weak point and hit them where it hurts. Leave it to me. going and rendezvous with the Vanguard. Just hold out until I make it there. Enemy approaching! Advancing! Oh, 
allies have been... Taking the enemy base. Mission was a success. Operation complete. I've got this. My turn. Lock and load. Let's finish this quick. Let's do it. Squaddy, move out! Dancing. this over with. scared of anything. How's that? Well, pretty much have that street covered. So now I have to get people in. Just don't get in my way. I'm not here to make friends. Lone wolf. Understood. 
This is awkward. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna prepare for the next the next push. Move them a little bit. Now advancing. One mortar should clear it out. to this camp in the name of Meep. Guess it's one camp. And this is where it gets difficult. Yeah, look, I have a choice. people on that side. Enemy 
make some money. squads and I think you're done just don't get in my way Recon out. Calling for support. Like that. So we get funneled here anyway. Keep using the sniper. One shot's all I need. Watch out for stray bullets. Too easy. Get a mortar. Leave it to me. Mortar up. I guess it's a good thing I'm overly paranoid. Got it. Oh, sorry, me. We could have flanked them, but I wanted to use the mortar. Oh, about that mortar, me. We've taken the enemy base. Mission was a success. Imperial weapons. Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. Medal of Valor. Receive an accessory as a reward. Telescope. 
That's definitely going on my sniper meat. <laughs> 